we're on a mission to find what works to empower education everywhere. I'm Chris Van Ness, and you're watching This Learning. Now, if your kids love the hands-on approach, they want to be involved in actually making whatever they're interested in, one place they can do that in Newark, New Jersey is the Newark Museum's Maker Space. Oh, wild. Check that out. I started adding this in. I love that, man. How empowering, right? Maker Space is a unique blend of art, science, and technology. Design, create, pay for this. Make your space! And it's all about imagination. It gives kids the tools, techniques, and most of all, the guidance to take whatever's up here and build it in there. Taught by former MIT undergraduate research assistant John Santiago, who brought his passion for blending art and technology to teaching, North Museum's Makerspace is driven by a sense of exploration. One of the cool parts about having Makerspace inside of a museum, like North Museum, is that the kids not only get to create technology about things that they're interested in and actually build things and make things, which is really important, but they also get to integrate with the museum as a whole. So it's project-based learning, right? If there's something that the museum might need or you're exploring, the kids in this workshop can actually help contribute to that by building something. Yeah, they're research and design, uh, exhibit designers and trainers. Not only do they get to participate in the program, but actually help the museum better communicate like the different art and, and science exhibits they have. Makerspace turns education inside out, empowering students to take their learning to a whole new level. Whether it's using a 3D printer that has a cheap microcontroller in it to make 3D objects, or to be able to make your own customized video game or video game controller, um, there's a lot more possible for young people. It makes me feel relevant. It makes me feel empowered. Empowerment is at the core of Makerspace, and the tight integration with Newark Museum gives students a unique opportunity to help solve real-world projects. He has me working on like a game for the museum. They're having Dinosaur Day coming up, and Dinosaur Day is when I'm going to design this thing, design a game, and it's going to be like a quiz game. We're going to have dinosaurs, we're going to have them roar, and then the kids are going to have to guess which dinosaur made which sound. So take me through it. What do we got? Okay, I'm going to start with the laptop. On laptop, we have this program. It's called Processing. We write the code or we write what it's supposed to do. We set it up so this um, analog, as we change that, the picture on the screen over there, depending on what we want, it'll change to whatever we need to change to. So when I move this joystick to the right, on the screen, it changes from that image to another one. How does it make you feel that whatever you're creating in here, the projects that you're interested in, that you're developing, and that you're building, are actually used in the real world? It makes me feel relevant. It makes me feel empowered. I'm able to do literally whatever I want to do, and I know that if I do it right, it will help someone else, or that it will affect someone later on. It's not only fun seeing what we did overall, but it's also fun as a process. Step by step, each part is fun and is necessary. I can print it out in 3D. One of the most futuristic parts of the Makerspace Lab is a 3D printer called the MakerBot. If you thought that the Star Trek replicator was just for the movies, think again. These students are turning their ideas into physical reality right here on Earth. For Cien, his favorite machine, the MakerBot, gives him the ability to turn his ideas into three-dimensional reality. This object, well, machine right here, printed 3D using plastic. What? Well, melting plastic. So. Wait, 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 okay, wait, wait, time out. Let's check this out. So, let's take a walk over here real quick to show me where these models come from. You take a model from one of these computers across the room here. You use Tinkercad, like the design, and then use it as to print it over there. All right, so you take a 3D model from this computer over here. Send it over yeah, an SD card. to this crazy cool printer here. Yeah, and it prints in 3D. So now, if I wanted to print something, it would just rise up like this little panel right here and start creating. It's amazing to watch students actually build their own ideas at Makerspace. And the feeling of contribution it gives them can go way beyond just the physical manufacturing. Some, I'll say, 3D objects that printer wow. printed. So these came out of that printer over yeah. there. This 3D they object. Actually, someone actually designed it on Tinkercad and uploaded it. That on. is so awesome. So how does it make you feel to be able to design something here and then have a real 3D object of it later? It makes you feel great. Like I said, like say someone is missing a part for an object or anything, and I'm actually missing a part to the object too. I'd be the one to design something that will hold hold it together and stuff like that. So basically, it's like I'm helping the world out with a few, a few little details. I love that, man. How empowering, right? We get to have real change on the world. I mean, beyond even the stuff that we're learning in the computer programming, but physical change. You know, it's tangible. You get to see it in your hand. And I can imagine that you could build uh, prosthetics, artificial limbs, or yep. right? Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of different things that you could do with this to empower. 
Back on the computer, students are using everything from CAD computer-aided design tools and modeling programs to standard Google searches in order to expand their knowledge and learning. Some students didn't even think they would be in a technical field when they first started. I never thought I would do this. I never did. And now feel empowered by doing something they never thought possible. I'm doing what they're doing, but I'm putting all the joystick things, like all the joystick codes in, so that way my picture, when I move this piece right here, my picture can, um, can move along with it. So you're writing code that integrates this controller to the picture which is ever displayed yes. on the screen. Yes. How does it make you feel to be able to control something like right here, build it yourself? It feels good. Learning on the same class leading technology that's used by major industries. The 3D program is called Blender. It's actually used in big motion pictures like Pixar. Students are able to build real world skills that not only lead to increased job opportunities, but also give them a real sense of self empowerment. I want to be an animator and um, Wanting to do things with art really wanted me to, really made me feel good and it really, uh, I really wanted to find a program like this. How does it make you feel to build something and then have it used out there? Feels really awesome. It does. With their Use What You Have philosophy, Makerspace students are also encouraged to explore and use whatever tools and resources they have available to get the job done and move their learning forward. I love this. He's using, right now, Google search to look up a term that I just asked him about, which is perfect. I mean, it's learning in the 21st century, right? We, we have all this great technology and great resources out there. Why not use them? Delta. Let me try beta. Let's try beta. I see some beta. All right, so it's a Greek letter. And a motorcycle, apparently. <laughs> I just love how they, how they will all work together and uh, like come over obstacles between uh, how each trait and each skill they had. As Arthur C. Clarke famously said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. The power of Makerspace is that students learn to be comfortable and versed in a wide variety of tech, simultaneously demystifying the magic, empowering their education, and giving them a solid handle in the world of tomorrow. It is kind of magical to see how it all comes together. When you work with a computer or a, a game box or a Nintendo or an Xbox or whatever you have at home, you don't really think about the stuff that's going on in the background to make that happen. And in Makerspace, you guys not only get to understand it, but you guys get to make it. And that really does demystify the magic into science. That's one of the things that I really like about Makerspace. Once I leave, the mindset kind of stays with me. I have to think when I go home, I'm like, wow. Okay, how do I, how does this controller work? Because they taught me how to do this here. Makerspace goes beyond the physical. It opens students up to new possibilities while helping them discover and bring out the best of themselves. Finding confidence in themselves and finding uh, something they believe in. A lot of the kids come into this program not knowing what a Makerspace is, because it's still very new, even though the maker movement is getting bigger. Um, I think there, it's, our goal is the kids that are makers and tinkers um, to find that in themselves here and see that there's an amazing career ahead of them that we can encourage and also seeing the museum as a resource so they can start looking at the cultural institutions that are right in their backyard that are underutilized by the community really realizing that we're here to help and that our collection can support all of their research and uh, future plans these are the arts of the future and these are they're, what they're making will probably be in our museum in the next decade or all museums will be collecting so that's what amazes me about them having access we just want them to think about their future and how this can continue to help them get, get there. I want to get into it, man. I want to start doing some coding, some programming. If you guys want to know more about the Makerspace program, check out northmuseum.org. That's all we have today. Visit us online at thislearning.com. Makerspace! <laughs> we're going to show clothes, which means we're going to tell people how they can get more information, okay? Now you can look right at the camera. You ready? You ready for this? Yes. All right. Ready for the roll. Ready for the roll. Let's bring it home. Check out northmuseum.org. That's all we have today. Visit us online if I can say visit us instead of visit us. <laughs> when I did the Atari back in the day, I mean, I'll tell you when. He's like, oh! <laughs> Hot just to switch out the <laughs> right? <laughs> Put some ice packs on. <laughs> Can you build another 3D printer using this 3D printer? <laughs> wow.